Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be doing a Feraldruid Soul Shuffle breakdown of a shuffle that a viewer of mine sent in. A lot of people ask me how to improve as a Feraldruid Shuffle, and this video might be a great way to find out how, if you're interested in that. So stay tuned, and let's break down the shuffle, point out mistakes, good things he does, and yeah, let's dive into it. What's going on with the with the cursor? It's like a circle. Um, get ink on, good. I was going to say, you, you want to ink on early here? So, one thing... Early on, when the game starts, right now you're on the warlock, right? You're standing here blasting him. Just move a few more yards up here, and then you're in the middle of him, and then suddenly you're hitting two targets instead of one, right? Or even better, move in between them all. You can probably hit them all through here with like a um, max range Primarath. Spacing is very important. Like, where are you standing when you Primarath? Because right now, like, so far, this whole game, the Alpha Warlock like, has no bleeds up. Okay, now you bleed him. Good. So, like, you, you just used uh, 25 seconds of your Incarn without bleeding the Alpha When he's pretty much, like, right there. That's a pretty big mistake, I would say. Like, you get a lot more pressure by um, just bleeding him instantly as well. I'm going to guess and go ahead and say this is 1,800 more. 1,800. It is 1,800. Okay, okay. I would like to like see some more control on the monk. If it's bash, if it's rake, if it's maim, or or just like landing clones. Good kick. On this map, and they're also stacked. You could probably be doing like 60k DPS there, like fairly, without too much trouble. Um. And you know, if you have like like that that much DPS, and and you know some some good cyclones, they're probably dead by now. And it doesn't take much to do it. It's just like like a bit better. Uh, Spacing and you know bleed up time on on all of them The Destro Ret Ardrude right here It's like right here. You probably like saw there right like I'll show you here If I'm you right now They're stacking they like th these guys are stacking the look and then the druid if you're rushing here double rake instantly Incarn, just believe them. Don't, don't even clone. Like in, in Incarn, you don't really want to clone. But just rush in, double rake them, and just get full bleeds. Instantly jump on the Paladin, bleed him up too, and then you just instantly get like crazy pressure, right? It's big. Maybe like you can still get it. Double rake, nice. They did the stack. So here we go. This is good. Incarn instantly. Nice, we bleed him up. Like here, when, when lock shields, I, I'm probably just going to start lobbing damage on, on the Druid. But this is fine. This is not, not bad. I mean, you get skin anyway, so it's good. But yeah, so uh, at, at this point now, right? You're in a coil. Okay, you're in a coil. You have full bleeds up. They, they just use Bark on the Warlock. So at this point, the Pala's pretty deep. He's over there on your Warlock. So like here, there's a few angles I can do. One could be I could see the Druid and then swap the Paladin. He's very, very deep. Or you could even maybe clone Warlock, go Druid. But, like, I wouldn't really be going with too much now because he's bark up. So, you know, that damage might be better uh, put somewhere else. We train the spheres kind of fine, I guess, because Monk's kind of far away. Paladin bubbles. Okay. Again, like here, I think at this point, just like going kind of single target on, on the Warlock when he's in um, bark is not the move. I, 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 I'd better see you kind of go just bleed Druid up or something then. And kind of just maintain those, but it's it's not a big deal really. But like small things, like uh, swapping on skin, swapping on on, on bark, like when you're uh, really trying to like spread pressure is really really good. You know, like just kind of small things like that will like kind of add up a lot, right? Over a game. Like, if you're always biting into skin or, or, or uh, biting to bark when you could be kind of s spreading pressure more than... Uh, but, you know, sometimes you want to go through the, those CDs. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes you just want to go through uh, skin and kill. But, yeah. Okay, case ball. So, let you keep in mind, at this point, the Pala has used bubble, right? We have kick. We, we Okay, we don't keep the case bolt. We tank it in the face. That's not optimal. So guys, he he's playing my uh, cleave build right now. He's playing my cleave uh, cyclone build here. Okay, nice. So here we hit the like not nah, nice. Like now we hit all of them with the prime wrath. Like the optimal scenario is 
having your prime wrath hit all three targets, right? Always is what, what you want to do. I think you have Shadow Melt still, right? It's like here, you could, for example, my brain right now thinks, can I get a double rake? Even if it's DR, that's fine. To get like the, the double huge rake up. That's like what my my brain is like. Yo, double rake, double rake. We get Wolf Warlock really good. Like now, on the wall, could try calling him. Let's see here. Wall and Bark. They've stacked two insane defensives. Clone the Warlock here. Maim clone, whatever you gotta do. Just try clone him. Lock him up in, in those. We're casting clone. We get kicked. Probably like one we'll like e e either rakes on or, or maim first, so we can't like trinket. Um, I mean, so we can't just kick it for free. And because I like, move away here, so the pot can't uh, stop either. If you do these things a little bit better, this game is over probably one minute ago. And I'm being serious. Like, if you put put like of course like a rank one feral on this MR, the game will be over instantly. And the difference isn't even that huge in like what what he's doing. It's like a bit better pressure because you're uh, you're um, spacing better. You're like getting a, a few better clones, but like the the difference is not that big. Like a, a feral like you, you're like 2k can go easily 2-4 and beyond. Cause like you're playing pretty good, like you're doing things right, but there's just small things that you're kind of trolling on that that kind of hold you back a lot. But not uh, now you're pumping the druid. Nice, nice. Uh, optimally, you know, we want to double rake, but double rake is not always possible. Like here, it's kind of hard to do. With Rake Sun, Cyclone. I gotta be honest, like, I think Ra Rake Sun Cyclone is rarely gonna be the move in the opener. Like, rarely. Maybe sometimes if, like, one guy's really far away, can clone him far and then, and then jump the other one, but uh, you rarely wanna be doing that. And, like, this example is pretty, per like, good and, like, why you don't wanna do it. It's not gonna do that much either. Like, I, I think you're kind of better off just opening up and just incarnating is bleeding everyone instantly. Like, usually. And and then you can start uh, spreading stuns and bleeds. Like, you're trying to cast clones when they're not really gonna land and when it should be bleeding. And I think also just, like, use a bash, use a rake, use a maim, like, try clone off something. So, 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 so you're not just gonna get, like, freely kicked. Yeah, see what you mean, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, sometimes it just happens, yeah. Sometimes th things just don't w work out. That run is a good example also of like the, um, the like how important the, the opener is, right? Like how important it is to kind of just get, get that pressure out early and then uh, create some uh, momentum. Because they're like, they had all the momentum. Like the, the Rhett had done like a million damage when you guys had done basically zero damage. There it is. I mean, if that clone lands, it's not bad. Like uh, again, like I wouldn't usually recommend trying to do this because also like the monk has a port there so like the red kicks you but a good monk would just port it anyways so this is not too much gain in doing that i'm trying to like notice how you're using your uh melds and incarn stunts like incarn rakes and i feel like you're not really using them i might be wrong on that but um like double raking with, with incarn self and, and, and meld is really really important because those rakes do uh, some crazy damage. Like, rake could be your top uh, bleed. But the awfully feral is crazy pressure, man. I mean, you're holding some uh, good DPS here. Okay, he just kills the Warlock too. I mean, the, the Warlock kills the, the, the healer there. Double rake potential in the opener. Do we get it, though? Oh, almost. Almost, man. A little bit off on the, 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 the timing there, but it's fine. It's not too big of a deal. Again, bark on Warlock. Like, like, now when he's bark up, I wouldn't fixate so much on him. Like, I would just kind of start... Either just, like, start hit, hitting something else more, but mainly just, like, spread bleeds. When is he bark? Like, Harry barks, right? You have full bleeds on this guy. Maybe, like, reply the bleeds. But at this point, if you go and bleed the other ones, your DPS will stay very high. But look what happens here. You stay pumping single target on the Warlock through Iron Bark... And look at your, your uh, DPS. It's going down quick. If you, instead of uh, train the lock air, you go over here, bleed these two, hit them with a double meld rake, and bleed, you're going to stay no, no, number one damager easily. And by a good margin. I got to point this out. 
Unless you're UI trolling me, but you've not used Shadow Meld one time. In in at least this round, but in general, I I, I don't see you Shadow Melding. And Shadow Meld's broken. For Feral. Because uh, the, the race done. It's a great offensive ability, but also defensive. And it can be both. You can, for example, meld the case ball and then double race on them. Ooh, so such a close game. Such a close game, dude. Holy moly, man. <laughs> All right. Double rake here. Double rake him. Ooh, we hesitate a bit here, you know? Like here. Don't hesitate. Just go in. Double rake, dude. What I'll do here, I'll actually go, go like double rake instantly. Incarnate rake the, the third guy as well. Get all three in the rakes done. And then you just put them all in the clean machine. You put them all in the clean machine. But yeah, like, you see what I mean though? Like the, the difference on those two openers is crazy. Like, it, it, it's bonkers how much, like, you're missing out. And I'm not even joking, like, on, like, millions of DPS over the whole shuffle with these kind of openers. Like, actually millions. Maybe trillions, honestly. And let's see here. But actually millions. Okay, the, the healer's dies here, though, I think. Nice, you kill him. I mean, it works out, right? It works out in the end. Um, may, Maybe more. Yeah. Hey, maybe you have four wins. You, you, you gain some CR. It's a, it's a job well done. It's a job well done, man. But uh, yeah, hopefully that, that helps you a bit. You can work on those things and uh, push up and shuffles.